kicked on to the markets where it was yet another day of weakness on the large streets of tracking global peers. Our markets ended the day in the red with the Sensex barely holding on to 25,100 as it witnessed a 127 point hit. The Nifty too uh, saw a half a percent being shaved off and just about held on to the 7,700 mark. The mid caps also underperformed uh, as mid cap earnings disappointed today. That index saw a cut of one and a half percent. The Nifty Bank also fell seven tenths of a percent in trade. And like always, I'm now joined by Anuj Singhal, who's standing by with the details of today's trading action. Anuj, uh, weak global queues playing uh, spoil spot once again. Well, bad day for the market. Uh, it was there in the global queues, and in fact, the market was dancing to global queues, especially in the second half when the European markets were a bit weak. And while clutch of heavyweights led to the market decline, it was not a big decline at the index level. It's just that it went to 7,700. The bigger problem was in the mid caps. But to be fair, the mid caps have seen a big rally and were vulnerable to correction, and that's what happened in today's trade. I'll talk about mid caps in a bit, but first, the stocks that led to the nifty decline. And right on top, Tata Motors with that 7% decline post its US sales numbers. ICICI Bank was also correcting in trade today. In fact, that stock has seen severe derating ever since its numbers. In fact, even before that, and ITC was also lower. Apart from that, metal stocks, tracking global commodities, saw a big fall led by Tata Steel. Hindalco and Sale were also lower in trade today. Other nifty losers, the biggest of them was Adani Ports. The market didn't like the numbers or the disclosures. That stock was down 12%. Bank of Baroda and Axis Bank were other major losers. It would have been worse if not for two stocks, HTFC and Infosys. In fact, HTFC contributed nearly 12 to 15 points to the Nifty. Infosys as well in the green and a couple of other gainers included names like Aurobindo Pharma as well. But a lot of sell-off in the mid-cap names. Indocount, Adani Enterprises, IOB, BGR Energy, ABG Shipyard, Shakti Sugar. So all in all, a bad day for the bulls specifically for the mid-cap traders. But let's see if there is a bit of a trend reversal or whether today was a bit of an aberration.